everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park Builder and we are here in our little corner of Jurassic Park Island where our Jurassic level creatures are doing pretty well though you know it's really weird I was just minding my own business walking out on my deck and I thought I need to put some things next to the second volcano in Jurassic Park Builder isn't that just so random that there I am minding my own business planting things feeding like the wild birds and then all I could think about was this empty space so today I want to try to fill up this little spot maybe with some of these things these royal red flowers are actually very pretty I really like them so we'll try to fill this in uh, I don't really want to put the family safari lodges that close to an active volcano and it might be kind of cool to see if maybe like the lava rift or um, similar items could go there but I was thinking we really do need to work a little bit more at turning this part of the, the whole the whole park like the Jurassic part of the park into more of a money maker because it tends to be the area that you can make the most cash in really quickly and I need to work on doing that because then we can go down and expand our aquatic zone which is 100% my favorite zone now it really is but we have all this empty space and we can start spreading the dinosaurs out a little bit so like these little guys could have a little bit more room they wouldn't have to be piled on top of each other and we can start putting more decorations around them putting up more safari lodges because I think the safari lodges really are the best money makers but I don't want to just clutter them like in the neighborhood style look uh, oh and actually that's a good idea because like I've been kind of bothered by the way that the lodges over here are just kind of shoved up against each other so what if I started moving some of them more this way and then yeah because I want to make this the park I want to make this an amusement park still so what if I start moving some lodges back here so we're gonna start this and what about this one uh -huh. and I'm thinking about moving let's move the dryosaurus back here because I do want to keep some creatures nearby the lodges so that people feel like they're still there for the dinosaurs so let's see dryosaurus let's scoot you back here all right let's put you there we're gonna work on clearing out a few of the spots I'm gonna leave those rocks though because I want to try to work with some of the natural formations. And then, let's see, how could I arrange these a little bit better? I actually really like where the Edmontosaurus is. And I like where the museums are. Let's look over some of the items. Now, I, now I'm in the mood. Let's see. Sabertooth diners. So I was thinking what could be cool is making it look kind of like neighborhoods where these these lodges are so it doesn't feel like you're just there to like clutter the area with the lodges and try to make a bunch of cash it'd be nice to keep doing what we're doing by putting in decorations but also putting in uh maybe like the diner so like there's a little place to shop and eat maybe putting in an infirmary so it feels kind of like official like you've got an infirmary to go visit if you need something you know some of those kinds of things uh, like the hidden amber, it might be nice to to save up <laughs> and maybe when we win a uh, aquatic battle or something, come back and put down a neighborhood restaurant, those kinds of things. Security office, just so the people felt like they had somewhere to go if they so wanted to, uh, to report to security. There's not really a lot of extra buildings up here. What about decorations? We might have to turn more towards decorations and call like, you know, the bridge over the pond, a park or something like that. There's the cool fish craters. I like the impact crater. I'm not nearly as scared about spending bucks now that I know how we can make bucks. Though I was right, the higher up we level up our creatures, the harder and harder it's getting to make bucks in the aquatic zone, so I'm going to be very careful about that. Alright, because I don't enjoy Jurassic fights anymore, because I just get completely destroyed every time. And you can't really enjoy that. Alright, sleeping volcano. Oh, that's right, I wanted to put a little sleeping volcano down there. I remember now. The lava rift would be really cool one day, maybe when it goes on sale. So we'll keep an eye on that. Blue flowers, volcanic vent, a freshwater swamp, which looks really cool. The pit crater would be awesome if it ever went on sale, too. Like a sundial would make a nice middle, middle centerpiece to a bunch of lodges. So yeah, there's not quite as many decorative things as I keep thinking there are, but there's, there's a lot. There's a lot. We can work with it. Now, I did forget I wanted to put a sleeping volcano down here. 
because it would actually work very perfectly with this whole this whole ambiance, the whole uh, kind of look that we're going for down here of having a bunch of sleeping volcanoes. So yeah, I'm gonna put one down. Half a million dollars right there. Oh, what did we just get? Purples. Oh wow, we need a lot of flowers. <gasps> I like that. I want to get more flowers. Place three royal red flowers. Oh, we needed to place a sleeping volcano. I didn't even know that. And two fountains and security towers. Well, I want to put down. I want to put down. Is it Jurassic Park is far too green. No such thing, sir. No such thing. But I agree. I want to add some flowers. So purple cyats, purple flowers, blue flowers. What can we add? Do 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 do. do. Let's see. Royal red flowers. You know, I did want to add those. Can I fit them? Mmm, can't really fit them in here. Ah, <sighs> drat. But we can move the lodge. We can actually move the lodge over here. So there is that. So we can put like a couple little lodges. Maybe, can I fit another one right here? Ooh, I can. Let's put one right there. Yeah, there we go. And now I can put some royal red flowers down here. So don't mind if I do. You know, we might evolve this little guy soon. I think he could probably help us out when it comes to uh, being able to get... Let's see, do I want to scoot? Okay, I can't scoot the volcano over because then it can't reach this guy. How much are you giving me? 7,000 every two hours is not bad. It might be worth evolving him just so that we could get more, more money. Alright, let's see. And, yeah, I put down one of the royal reds. We need some purple sides and purple flowers. There's a yellow one, not that one. Wow, he just wants purple flowers? They're cheap. They're cheap. We can do this. I'm gonna sprinkle purple flowers, sprinkle them. Sprink, what? I'm gonna sprinkle them around. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean, we can put them in quite a few different places. And we wanna put them a little bit systematically though, so that there's enough room to add more. There we go. See, and now we might swap these. So put like one here. Take this one and put it up here. And whoops. Wow, I don't know where I just went there. All right, and see we could move. No, not the velociraptors. I don't want to move the velociraptors. Um, Actually, let's get the middle plant. <gasps> so fun. I love decorating. Oh, and I love plants. Landscaping with prehistoric pieces. Why not? All right, so how many purple flowers was that? How many more do I need? I need, wow, two more, okay. We're doing good, we're doing good. All right, so let's come up here where there's not really a lot to be seen and we have a whole bunch of these little like one gap spaces that we need to fill up. So let's see, one there, we can put one there, one there, okay. We're gonna start with this one and then we're gonna come over here try to sprinkle them around like I said one there there we go so there's the purple flowers at least and that didn't break the bank glad to see it let's try some purple cyans let's see where are they green tree fern oh man he wants the cheap flowers <laughs> this is a nice refreshing breath of fresh air compared to the the kinds of stuff we're normally having to drop money on for these quests lately so I have no problem with this Let's keep going on the cheap flowers. Totally fine with that. Of course, then he's probably going to be like, and now another active volcano! And it's going to break the bank! But that's just the way it goes here. Just the way it goes. All right, so this guy will reach both of these. There you go, good little plant. I'll probably move you in the future because there's room for more. Let's see, can I fit you in here? Yeah. But not to both of you, huh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, nope, nope, nope. It was it was just tricking me. Can I fit you in here? No. Okay, so he fits right here. That's fine by me. Oh, we still need more. That's fine. We can start putting some up by... Oh, we could probably start putting some around here. Around the circus. Do they fit by or around the circus? I guess they're bigger than they look. They're not one tile, huh? That's fine. Um, let's put them maybe kind of at an angle behind the diner. Why not? Because it looks really boring when it's just like a bunch of empty, empty land out there. So let's put a couple behind the diners. There we go. Yay, we did it! 
And now we're down to blue flowers. So let's check where the blue flowers are. Green tree fern, purple flowers, blue flower patch. Not the same thing. Not the same thing whatsoever. All right, blue flowers, blue flowers. Pretty thing, sleeping volcano, white tree fern, blue flowers. There we go. All right, I'm going to get some more flowers down. Like between, really, like we need more more plants and things. So let's go ahead and scooch the fish fossils down a little bit. And then we'll put the blue flowers. Come here, blue flowers. Put the blue flowers in front of the museums. Because I think that's a good idea. Yeah, we need more more plants. I'm actually pretty happy that we have this this quest right now. Purple, the color of royalty. A splash of violet around the park should be a real conversation starter. I see where this is going. He wants to crown himself king of the dinos. How do our guests feel about the, the change in park decor? I'm afraid they haven't noticed. No, I would notice. I would notice all the pretty plants. Mr. Hammond, the new plants will be the highlight of my new video report. Thank you. But at least young Miss Kelly noticed. Well, it's not like you spent a lot of money on this, sir. <laughs> oh, dear. My videos aren't the most popular Jurassic Park videos on the big websites. My students are beating me at my own game. Oh, my goodness. That just means you're an extraordinary teacher. Aw, what a nice dad. Dad, quit being such a dad. I don't want anybody else to be the d definitive Jurassic Park filmmaker. You know, you gotta admire her ambition. She definitely has a very ambitious personality. What do the higher ranked videos show that yours don't? Maybe that's their secret to success. Now you're thinking like a YouTube creator. Falling Star. The top ranked video is about the new carnivores. I'll show them the ultimate carnivore movie. Collect 3,000 coins from the security office and collect 10 times from carnivores. Well, we can pull those off pretty easily. I'm kind of sad my little, my little plant jaunt is temporarily over because we completed that, that little quest. But that was nice. That was nice. All right, so we've got an emergency response headquarters. We just have one little security office. Oh, we have two. I put two of them in. Go me. That's kind of like a security complex back there. So let's go ahead and add in like another security office. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Like right back here so that like people can be like, okay, I've got things to report and they can come and meet the security office. There we go. I'm pretty happy with this. This is, this is going well. So that is now done, my friends. And let's go over to Glacial Area real quick. That's always the next area because we're not really doing anything with it. So I like to peek at it before we go to our pride and joy of the Aquatica Zone and see how they're doing. Poor little glacial guys. I'm sorry, guys. I promise not to neglect you in the future. It's just hard because you're super expensive. You're so expensive. And I don't have any golds yet. I bet when I get a gold uh, for this zone, that's when I'll start getting really excited. And we did not find the Mastodon, unfortunately. I was keeping my eyes peeled, but no Mastodon appeared. All right. And here we are, our pride and joy, the deep sea aquatic zone at our kelp abyss, deep sea kelp abyss, where everybody is doing very well. We've got the beautiful observation decks. We've got very happy prehistoric fish and reptiles and maybe mammals involved here. There we go. And actually, I want to move that little Megalodon diner. Check out our little underwater city that we've been working on. We've got the, bon the Montanic Garden. We've got the complexes and condos. There's another one that's being prepared right now. I think these condos may technically make a little bit less. Hmm, let me think about that. I think they make actually about the same amount or a little bit more. They make a little bit more per three hours than the uh, safari lodges do on the surface. So I guess the, the underwater condo complex and the safari lodges are equivalent in being places where they make a good min amount of money. So we might start putting down more of them, expanding the city. I could see us start expanding the city in a little bit. They take a long time to build, but they're totally worth it. We now have a little infirmary. So check out the human-sized infirmary. I think that definitely lends uh, some credit to the idea that this vet office is meant for these guys because it's a huge building. And this is the infirmary for people. This is the vet office for the underwater creatures, I'm pretty sure. So I think whoever suggested that was actually for underwater creatures, you were right on the money. 
And then we've got our hotel right here, which is looking absolutely fantastic and amazing. That I would love to stay in that hotel. We need to like put some really cool decorative pieces around it in the future. But for now, we are not going to spend our money on those things, my friends. We are going to try evolving more of our creatures. And I'm sort of stuck at who, I kind of want to do the Bacolite, to be honest. I want to evolve our little Bacolite and see what it can become, but Basil's been sitting here at level 30 for eons, so I'm tempted to evolve Basil too, but like I said, the battles get harder the higher level your creatures are, so I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. Let's go ahead and raise up our Mosasaurus. Oh, look at that. Level 25. Oh my gosh. 2044 ferocity. Oh my goodness. That's pretty darn amazing. And we're getting updates left and right. Barnacle stones. Oh, it was for this. Oh, remove uh, hungry mouths. Audiences are fascinated by the mature maturation process here in the aquatic park. Feed some of the specimens as we capture the footage. So then we just need to remove some tracks. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Gonna add down some little tracks. Need to add nine tracks. Okay, added nine tracks. Was it nine tracks or ten tracks? How many tracks? Oh, seven tracks. Pfft, I wasn't even on the right number whatsoever. All right, now we're gonna remove these tracks. Poof, go away tracks. There we go, mission complete, nicely done. Good amount of experience. Something's fishy. A seafood supplier wants to put their product in the film. Talk to the harbor master and see if we can actually use this brand. Collect 1,000 fish and expand to the aquatic park. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to set this. Oh, and I just remembered. I can't believe I forgot. You guys, we have a new creature. We have a new creature. I got a DNA. It was just a normal DNA from an expedition, but I totally forgot about it. So let's go ahead. Dun, dun, dun. And we're gonna put some research into adding this new little one to our park. All right, come here, buckaroos. You're gonna help us out. There we go. I'm not worried. We got the bucks for this. There we are. And we'll do it again. Hang in there. We're almost there. Okay, almost halfway there. Ugh. Come on. Yes. Don't have to spend the bucks. But really, it's not bad now that we know that the tournaments are, are decent for us. At least aquatic. Alright. Come here, little one. There we go. Come here. I don't even remember what this is. I think it's the twirly mouth shark. I think that that's who we have found. That's my, my hunch is that this is the twirly mouth shark. But I don't know for sure. I have no idea what this DNA could be for. I know it's not for a limited edition. I know it's just for a regular. But let's see who it is. Ta-da! Sixtosaurus. Oh, it's for this guy. Oh. And then we've got unknown species here. We've got this guy who costs like a bazillion dollars. Oh my goodness, he costs more than the T-Rex. That's amazing. And then we've got, um, oh, I didn't know about this guy. He's not a Bacolite. <gasps> I want another, I want another. Then we could have little, we could have little shell squid companion buddies. That would be so cool. So it's not Twirly Mouth Guy. I would have really thought it was Twirly Mouth Guy. Also, there's this guy who's pretty tough. So we might need to save up. I forgot we totally had so many creatures that we could get with um, bucks that we haven't gotten for the aquatic zone yet. So I'm going to have to remember that. We might have to really start saving up the bucks and seeing how many bucks we can save up in time. And then in the future, if we ever get like a limited edition thing that we can't find, we can just buy it straight out. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, so let's go ahead and I think we're gonna evolve this little guy and that will be what we'll call it a day for now. And then next time we come back, we'll have to see how many coins, because we can't put the little guy down yet because I don't have enough coins, and how many bucks I managed to save up. So let's go ahead. Oh, that really hurt, Bacalite. That was terrible. This I can manage, but the whole failing, I guess we're not very adept at messing with, uh, like, squid, squid snails. Alright, let's see. Doing better now. You're such an expensive little experiment. I don't think anyone's ever said that happily. <laughs> Alright. 
I'm really excited though. No, my Makalite. I need some some squid experts in here. Oh, ouch. Oh, I'm gonna run out of the monies. Oh, phew. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is gonna really tap our bank dry. But that's okay. It's worth it. It's worth it for you, you little Bakalite adorable thing, you. All right, we're gonna gently. There we go. All right. Plus, the Bakalite is not a very good fighter right now. I'm not sure if it will ever be. But I like the idea of having it leveled up and ready to go just in case. There we go. And just one more. I was so excited. <gasps> we did it! Bakalites occupied the middle of the water column, feeding on zooplankton. Oh, that's so cool. You're so cool. Do you know how cool you are, little one? You know you're so cool. Yeah, you know you're cool. All right. And it'll be ready in about... It'll be ready... You know what? I'm going to do it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> Spending that kind of, of money so frivolously is kind of hard, but I really want to see what the Bakalite looks like, so it's worth it. If I, what, what's going on? What's going on down here? Can I, okay, oh, yeah, I forgot we expanded this. All right, come on, I want to see the Bakalite. It won't let me zoom in. It won't let me zoom in. Misery, misery, misery. It won't let me zoom in. <gasps> Look at my fat little baby Bakalite. Oh, he's so precious. Look at his little wiggly self. Look at his little wiggly self. Oh, I'm a happy Bakalite mommy. I really am. I would love an aquarium full of these guys. That's why we're going to have to save up and get the other one that looks kind of like him. Because he's just too cute. Oh, he's just too cute. Here, do you want some little food? Here's a little bit of food. There you go. There you go, sweetie. Oh, precious. So adorable. But alright, guys. I'm going to go ahead, jump into a tournament real quick. See if we can save up the bucks. Save up the coins. And I will see you guys back here next time. When we will have to continue to feed our Mosasaurus. Continue. Ooh, and actually, do we have enough money? <gasps> Just enough money. And we are going to continue. Ta -da! to expand our underwater city that we're going to be building and hopefully I like this pattern we've we've inadvertently ended up so hopefully we can continue with this cool pattern and we'll continue building more areas up in the Jurassic Park and maybe oh I forgot we expanded over there too mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. and maybe being able to work a little more with our glacial area hopefully with the discovery of a very cool strong glacial creature that'll make the tournaments worth it over there so I will see you guys next time bye bye